Kremlin critic Alexei Navalny has appeared in court accused of defaming a World War II veteran. The Russian opposition leader is already in jail for violating his probation while recovering from a poisoning attack. EU leaders are calling for Navalny's release and considering sanctions on Russia. The Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has threatened to sever ties with the bloc. How Russia treats this man and his supporters is affecting Russia's relations with the European Union. Opposition leader Alexei Navalny was arrested in January on his return to Russia and jailed soon afterwards. Navalny is facing more court cases, which his supporters say are politically motivated. The EU is considering levelling new sanctions on Moscow. During an interview with a Russian YouTube channel, Russia's foreign minister suggested the country could break ties with the EU if sanctions become a reality. If we see again, as we have felt more than once, that sanctions imposed in some areas create risks to our economy, including in the most sensitive spheres, such as supplies of parts and components, I'm convinced that with regards to the military, we've become completely self-sufficient. We need to achieve the same situation in the economy. Yes, once again, we don't want to be isolated from international life, but we must be ready for that. If you want peace, be prepared for war. A spokesman for the Kremlin tried to play down the comments and said that Russia wants to develop ties with the bloc, but relations are at their lowest point since the Cold War. European Foreign Affairs Chief Josep Borrell met with his Russian counterpart in Moscow last week to discuss Navalny's case. And during those talks, Moscow announced that it was expelling diplomats from Germany and other EU states for attending protests by Navalny's supporters. After the incident, Borrell said that Russia is going down a worrisome authoritarian route without room for democratic alternatives. Some EU lawmakers say they do not believe that the Russian foreign minister would make good on his threat to sever ties. From my point of view, this is saber-rattling. No one should be surprised about that. Russia would be shooting itself in the foot if it wants to break off ties with the EU. And Nord Stream 2 is one of those ties. This gigantic pipeline project is meant to bring Russian gas into Europe, and it's almost finished. It's not clear whether new sanctions would affect this project worth billions of euros. The venture is controversial and some EU member states oppose it, but Berlin is committed to it. Well, for more on this, we're joined now by our political correspondent, Simon Young. Simon, welcome. I wonder how much is the German government's uh, approach to sanctions on Russia being affected by their commitment to the Nord Stream 2 pipeline? Yeah, well, Germany hasn't uh, ruled out imposing more sanctions on Russia. And, of course, many EU countries believe that uh, that should happen. But Germany's relationship with Russia, of course, is complicated by uh, Nord Stream 2. Angela Merkel and her coalition partners are sticking with the gas pipeline project. Uh, and they say it's important for Germany's uh, energy supply uh, and they just want to get it finished. Uh, but the uh, voices uh, that oppose the project are growing louder. Donald Trump uh, was against it and uh, interestingly there's been a big uh, political scandal story here this week uh, with revelations that the finance minister Olaf Scholz was trying to persuade the Trump administration to change its mind on Nord Stream by promising to build uh, terminals here in Germany to receive uh, uh, American gas supplies as well as Russian ones. In any case, uh, Berlin now is hoping that the Biden administration might be a bit more agnostic on Nord Stream, hoping to get talks off the ground. Uh, uh, but it's very difficult. There's a lot of opposition. Uh, you know, there's opposition from the US. There's opposition from a lot of EU countries to Nord Stream. And now we've got Russia threatening to break off ties. A very difficult situation.
Yeah, it's a multi-cornered fight. Tensions between Russia and the, its European neighbours have been high of late. Could this increased temperature, though, carry over into policy change here in Germany? Well, I think Germany wants to cool the temperature. Uh, you know, this is such a fraught relationship. We always say it can't get any worse until it does. There are so many points of contention. Uh, the annexation of Crimea, uh, the cyber attacks on the Bundestag, a murder carried out by a Russian agent here in Berlin in 2019. And this week, we've had these tit-for-tat expulsions uh, of diplomats uh, uh, in connection to the... Uh, the democracy protests in Russia, a very difficult situation. Even now, Germany is saying cooperation, dialogue, that's the way forward. But when you've got the Russian foreign minister talking about preparing for war, that's pretty tricky. Simon Young in Berlin, many thanks.